Yes, so the name of the poem is Fire and Ice, and again it is written by Robert Frost. We have completed uh, uh, Dust of Snow, that is also written by Robert Frost. This is also written by Robert Frost. Now, there is a question for everyone, and I, I request, yes, it is my humble request to all of you, please give your answer. Fire and Ice. So, which character of human is depicted through these words? Fire means what and ice means what? You have to say characteristic of human. Fire means what? Fire means angry. Okay. Ice means, okay. Ice means peace. Ice means peace. I, we, we have to say quality of uh, human or you can say human nature. Just like anger is uh, uh, quality, although it is bad quality, but yes, it is a quality of human. Through eyes, what is depicted? Vishav is saying simple. Okay, okay. And if I say, okay, if I say that both the things are disastrous. Both the things can destroy the earth. Am I right? If I say like this? Yes, sir. Uh, Rishabh, tell me how ice can destroy the earth. Rishabh Jain. Better fast. Yes, sir. I asked, do you think ice can destroy the earth? Um, no. No, sir. Ice can't destroy. Destroy it, sir. No, no, sir. Okay. Confusion. Okay. Shorya Bhagracha. I'm not getting why are you leaving the class, again joining the class. Shorya, Shorya Bhagrecha. No response. Well, Arya yes, Dhani, sir. are you watching the PPT or somewhere else? Arya, unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Can I, can eyes destroy our lives? Probably. Probably. Okay. Do you know about Ice Age? Have you heard about this Ice Age? Yes, sir. I've seen one picture. Ah, yes. 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 There is a, a series of picture. Ice Age 1, Ice Age 2, Ice Age 3. Yes. So, fire and ice both can destroy the earth. If, if uh, fire can destroy by burning all the things, so ice will destroy by freezing everything. Just imagine if uh, our entire earth is covered with ice. So no vegetation, no food. So people will die, definitely. Okay, and every living being, not only people, every living being will die. So, by the way, I asked you one question that uh, fire and ice, which characters are depicted, human characters are depicted by these two words. So, here we go. Yes. Fire is desire and ice hatred. Now, actually, when I asked you if fire can destroy, ice can destroy the earth. So, yes, that question was symbolical. Okay, here, fire and ice can destroy the earth physically, but emotionally, if you want to destroy your earth emotionally, so desire and hatred will destroy it. Now, kaise, how? But the relation kaise ban hai ki desire kaise earth ko destroy kar sakta hai? Uh, kya kuch kehna chahenge is par desire 
अर्थ को कैसे डिस्ट्रॉय कर सकता है हाउ इट कैन डिस्ट्रॉय दर्थ no one okay so let us listen uh, or uh, yeah let us watch a video in that uh, this poem is recited so yes here we go i think everyone can see yes is it uh, is it visible to all i don't have played let me play yes can you see Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Listen it. Listen this. Listen to this. Pearls of wisdom, fire and ice, by Robert Frost. Some say the world will end on fire. Some say in ice. From what I have tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate. to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice okay watch it once again pearls of wisdom fire and ice by robert frost some say the world will end on fire some say in ice from what i have tasted of desire i hold with those who favor fire but if it had to perish twice i think i know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice okay so uh, in this way a poem is recited okay a poem is not like that read and read. it is it must be recited so let us come back to the slide where is the slide yeah so here fire is symbolized uh, symbolized with desire and ice is symbolized with hatred okay these two human characteristics can destroy the earth okay so let us start uh, i mean let us move to the introduction part okay now yeah uh, who will play who will play uh, i am very tired yes manan you read yes sir and srishti you will explain yes. okay carry on first may i start sure fire and ice expresses the profound idea that the world would end in either of two ways either be either by ice or fire both the components uh, are compared with self destructing human emotions at and desire the o very artistically underpin the philosophy that we let our emotions rules are and if don't control them they will sure surely destroy everything around us similarly he thinks fire and ice both are just a competent competent in bringing the world to a catastrophic disastrous end yes so srishti what do you have understood yes. सर अर्थ को डिस्ट्रॉय करने के लिए दो चीज जरूरी है फायर और आइस दोनों ही सेल्फ डिस्ट्रक्शन है ह्यूमन के हेटरेड और डिजायर इंग्लिश यस कृषिका व्हाट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड सर यस वी आर लिस्निंग and uh, rishabh jain i think rishabh jain 58 yes ha huh. rishabh jain 58 is uh, answering through chat box why not 
Why are you not using my microphone? You should, you should use your microphone and you should say something. Yes, Krishika, you are taking too much time. See, while one student is reading, it is not like that the every uh, other students will see the idol. You should also read. And this is the summary of the poem, you can say. You know, almost we have got the summary of the poem, background of the poem, gist of the poem, everything is available here. So this is very crucial for everyone. And I thought you will come up with your uh, understanding. But it is not happening, which is disappointing. Shall I be leaving? Oh my God, it was rhyming. Yes. Uh, yes, Jen. Are you there? Yes, Jen. You teacher so much hard work. Seriously. Shorya Bagrecha, no response. Aram Bhafna, for the mic. Yes, sir. Yes, Shorya, have you read this paragraph? Or you can say introduction part? No, sir, still reading. Still reading, okay. So, it is very simple to understand. See, we are talking about destruction of the earth. That's it. Destruction, there are Actually, the poet is trying to say that earth can be destroyed physically and emotionally. When we are talking about physically, that means any natural destruction, natural destruction, like cyclone, like uh, tsunami, like uh, uh, or, 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 forest fire. So these are the physical destruction. But when we are talking about emotional destruction, that means the destruction in our society. We are human beings. We have. We are social animals. But nowadays, people are not living in a social, uh, you know, phenomenon. Okay. If uh, if you have desire, if you have hatred in your mind. So you will definitely destroy yourself and also the people who are connected with you. The people who are connected with you, you will destroy them also. You will use them actually. So here in this poem, poet uh, Robert Frost has portrayed nicely in a symbolic way, in a symbolic way, that fire and ice can destroy the earth. That means your desire and hatred also can destroy your earth. Okay, we have our personal space. We have our personal earth. Okay, I think I have, I mean, you have got what I'm trying to say. We have our own earth. Okay, your family, your friends, your beloved person, they are the part of your earth. Combine me. So, hatred and desire can spoil, can destroy, can demolish your earth. Okay, so time is going to over. So, let us see the first stanza. Oh my God. Only four lines, but explanation is. You know, you can see it's so long. Don't worry, we will discuss in the next class. Okay, because time is going to be over. By the way, uh, first four lines. Oh, <clears throat> some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. From what I have tested of desire, I hold with those who favor life. So explanation is here. You must read, and in the next class, I will ask you to explain, so you can take screenshot. Take a screenshot, read the passage, come with your own understanding in the next class. And probably in the next class, we will play a quiz also on 
dust of snow okay say okay at least yes sir yes sir yes sir well your yes is very very weak khana wana khilao usko ya fir ye fourth period hai kabhi thak gaye ho tell me 